So as an oral surgeon, you do a lot of wisdom teeth. Oh, you, Has you anything have, changed over the years? Oh, a bunch. I mean, for, for, I think the thing for me, it, I may, I, I talk about how much I love implants, but I really like taking wisdom teeth out too because I shock people. You what know? do you mean? Well, I think, you know, I grew up on the farm and I packed cantaloupe in my dad's produce shed and, and you have to learn to move your hands really fast and think ahead and to make decisions without seeing all of the cantaloupe. You gotta pick the right size, you gotta grab it, spin it, catch it with the navel up and the rind down. <laughs> and I put myself through school doing that. And even today, Randy, in schools, we're taught that you can't do it well if you can't see it well. That is a saying in training programs. So the take home message is make a bigger incision, peel more gum tissue off the bone, cut a bigger hole in the bone, and then it's easier to get the wisdom tooth out. And that's true, but what do you think that does to the patient? A lot of pain. And or swelling. downtime. Swelling, pain, downtime, the whole deal. Increased infection, increased dry socket, all the horrible issues that we hear about wisdom teeth that are associated with it. What I've learned, it comes from big incisions, big bone removal, removal, and lots of time spent in surgery. So you can do a 45 minute surgery with that traditional way of approaching it, they're gonna have a bad time. They're gonna swell big. And you don't do it that way? No, no. Because okay. what I found was as time went by, I realized I don't need to see it that well to do it that well. My goal is to get that wisdom tooth out as quickly as possible. In the average case, it takes me five or six minutes. Don't you have a world record or something you said? About I think <laughs> probably like two, two and a half minutes on four impacted wisdom teeth. Okay. I don't know if it's a world record or not, but it if should somebody's be, right? done it faster, call me. You know. So the way you're doing it is lower downtime, less pain for the patient. Yes. It's it, just newer technique, technique driven. Yes, and minimally invasive surgery is is really caught on in general surgery and orthopedic surgery. It just and it's starting to catch on in dentistry as well. And I'm not the only one speaking about these kind of things. Others are as well, but we're in the minority. Most people are still making big incisions, reflecting big, reflecting big flaps. But now a lot of guys are doing uh, wisdom teeth now. Mm -hmm. Why go to an oral surgeon? Skill and experience and training. I mean, uh, it doesn't matter what you do in life. The person who has more training, more education, more experience, whether it's a lawyer, a mechanic, a chef. Makes sense. A dentist. Or and it doesn't cost more to go to you to get it done. Well, it doesn't have to. I'm sure there's some cases. I mean, where it's it about be, the same. I mean, yeah, it's close. It's very similar. Good. So.